screencast. All right, and I will drag the photo of, okay. All right, can you guys see all this, by the way? Just wanna make sure. Yeah. All right, screencast. All right, so I'm gonna delete this cube, get a plane, simply kind of match, you know, copy this one. So I'm gonna center this. Um, so it's just, I'm just tracing it, okay? So I will uh, expand this one here, just kind of scale it. And then, oh, I'm sorry. Kind of get that kind of dimension right there. So I want a control R in the center. All right, and then I'm gonna do a control R right here. And I would say, since I wanna keep it low polygon, maybe one more. Okay, right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, six cuts, okay? And then here I will simply just kind of trace it uh, using these lines right here, okay? And uh, there's some parts here that are definitely symmetrical, uh, but not really. So you, know, you can go free form like so. And kind of important right here that yeah, we're we're I'm kind of keeping that where the heel will be. All right, and here I'm just kind of scaling here so that I keep that straight line in the middle and then I'm just moving the points where they're more obvious that they're kind of going certain direction. All right, here I'm gonna have to kind of sacrifice that part right there. Okay, so for this part, I'm done. So I'm just going to select this and then just kind of delete that. All right, I'm gonna go into the front right here, grab the other photo. Oh, let me just rename the boot. All right, so there it is, uh, center it. Okay, and I'm gonna move it back a little bit, so along the y-axis here. Okay, so when I go to the front and I can see it. Um, I think it's fine like this. Okay, so I'll select my, uh, my plane. Okay, and then I'm gonna move this down right here. Uh, kind of size it to fit right here. So I'm gonna go wireframe real quick. Uh, sorry, transparent, all right. So I'm gonna, you can see the dimension right there. So I'm just going to kind of scale this thing. So it's almost kind of the same as our boot right here. Okay. So, um, let me go G, Z, right there, scale it. All right, good enough for now, okay? And I'll do my, uh, uh, my modeling now by basically curving it so that it kind of follows the uh, form of the photo. But here I kind of leave this one flat for now and then just kind of move all these things right here to kind of match the curvature. So I go G and here I will probably rotate just that and I'll put it like so. Again, these are two different photos so we're not expecting them to match perfectly because they're two different photos. 
Okay. All right. That's that right there. Um, we know for a fact that we kind of save this part right here. That will be for the heel. Okay. And now I can start kind of modeling the uh, uh, the formation of the boots right here. So um, I'm going to go to number three. Okay. And then press extrude. <coughs> I'm going to go all the way up. Kind of repeat that, kind of follow that formation right there. As you can see, that's what we have. Okay. And uh, the reason why I went with that is I want this to kind of flow twice right here. I want to break it over here. So we could have also extruded that going up here, but I do want to separate that. So now I'm going to select this. Okay, I'm going to press extrude. Okay, and I'm going to scale that a little bit so you get to see kind of like a separation right here. All right, I'm going to move a little bit of this part kind of right here. So it started to lean where it's supposed to lean. Okay, and then here I will, uh, I want to kind of extend this one. So if I do control R right here, kind of want to match it right here but I also want this kind of going this way, okay? So I'm gonna select this points first, kind of move those back a little bit, and then kind of get this thing to kind of match, like right there, and then lower this just a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna select all these faces here. Right, and then extrude that again, but I will scale that a little bit. Okay, and then just kind of position these, oops, sorry, into place. All right, so. All right, should be fine in there for now. So I'm gonna connect that and then one last extrusion here. All right, extrude, but that thing goes up like there. All right, so you see the cut right here. And then we're gonna fix this one by Deleting this polygons here, the ones inside. Mm. And that one right there. Ah. That one, basically everything inside. Delete faces, okay? And then we're gonna combine the points, so. Merge. I'm just gonna go Alt-M center just want them to kind of meet in the center so shift r shift r and my screencast went dead i think shift r all right so if i go to number one right here okay there's the boot okay so now i gotta work with points here to kind of get the shape of this one. But I have a nice topology following the flow of the boot, okay? So here I'm gonna match that. All right, is that the electric drill? Okay. All right, so I'm gonna do Control-R right here. Again, I'm adding the uh, 
the uh, edits and the cuts after the fact because that's the key to success when it comes to modeling. You don't want to overwhelm yourself with too much um, detail. Uh, you can always add them, right? So just to kind of get that one. And of course here, it could use some uh, help, okay? And, but let's just add one last detail here, which another control R right here. So then we can pull this out like so. Okay, and then we can just hide the empty for now. All right, so at this point, I can start kind of manipulating this and kind of fix it, because this is still stemming from the bottom where it kind of did that. So uh, we can select all these points here, and then one thing we can do is maybe scale that just a little bit, make it go out a little bit. Okay, same thing on this one. All right, and then here, kind of streamline this a little bit. Select those, kind of scale those going in. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we could also do select all these up to a certain point, maybe up to there, and then just we're gonna bring those down a little bit, kind of curve it. All right, and then over here, do the same thing. Those six points, maybe they can go back a little bit. Same thing with those. All right, okay, it's not so bad. Kind of rounding this off a little bit. All right, I think I made a boo-boo because I forgot to uh, preserve the one at the bottom because <laughs> I just kind of extruded it. So uh, I have to build those spaces now since I made that mistake. So, but it's not so bad. Uh, press F. Uh, wait. We get to press Y. Isn't it all? Let's see. Press F, I think, to make a face. Yeah, but I don't want to, if I do that, then I have to create all the lines. Oh, this. So I'm with, just going to match. With all the lines, and then just hit the all right, that yeah. one is this one. Just, just alt the, just hold alt and on the line, and then you, you would be able to. Oh wait, you want to make separate faces, don't I? <laughs> what does alt Z do? All right, uh, alt click just uh, completely. Yeah, you don't want to select the entire thing. You don't want to press Alt and do it because no. then you have to knife all these things. No, like, now I can just do a knife on this point. And that one. Okay, because if you uh, if you do the whole thing, you'll, you'll, you're going to end up knifing this way. All right, so Let's see, now I can select all these parts. Looking at it here, then we can do an extrude. And then S, I just wanna kind of scale that. But it's different formation going, so I can do uh, maybe scale that a little bit on the side. It's kind of keeping it kind of all equal distance. Move that down just a tad. Right there, and then maybe I missed that point right here. You see it? So let me click and do. So let me just select this one, dissolve that edge, do another knife. 
All right. Now I know for sure that I don't not getting any extra there. So just continue to select the bottom parts. Okay, and then I'm going to extrude and scale it. Okay, and then move it down a little bit. Uh, looking at it from the front, I might have to scale it a little bit less on that one. All right. Maybe I moved it down too much. Then just do another extrude here. Okay. That gives us that formation. And then just this one's. Uh, let's see the photo. How far does it go down? Okay. Extrude. I can go to point mode here. Just kind of select this thing so that they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Okay, and Okay, I think uh, that will do. All right, let's take a look. All right, and it's still low poly, and uh, of course, uh, there's a lot of things you can still manipulate with this. I'm just going to press I, inset polygon. Okay, and then press just a little bit extrude so that there's a little bit of opening in there so that when we, let's say, apply a subdivision surface to this, if you need to, you don't need to, I mean, it looks still like a boot, especially with textures that will go a long way, but let's just kind of see what it looks like. Okay, you can see there's a pinch right there, so that means I double extruded some parts here, or there's some polygon inside. Okay, you see it? Mm -hmm. Like a weird pinch. All right, so that means there's got to be some polygons inside here that I forgot to delete. So let me, let's operate on this guy. He's going to delete this face right here. Let's see. Yeah, there's an edge. You see the edge? Mm, yeah. There. All right, so I'm going to dissolve that edge or delete that edge. There you go. And then I'm going to select this edge and that edge to patch it back. Let's see the modifier. All right, it's clean. Okay. And there you have it. Simple boot, low polygon, and it's based on two drawings. Okay. All right, so I'll stop the 